Hi, today I want to take a look at the Pytrex. Uh, the Pytrex is a cartridge that replaces the CPU of the Vectrex uh, with a modern Raspberry Pi processor single board computer. And it, the system is used to emulate vector based arcade games and provide a much better, easier platform for developing games and playing ROMs and arcade ROMs as well. This is pretty much how we, you play a Vectrex if you've not had one before. You've got your manual, your game and an overlay. Because the system's monochrome, and it's a black and white, you use these um, like acrylic sheets that are coloured and specific to each game to give the uh, sense of colour to the games. So this is Spike, quite a well-known game because it does have a little bit of speech involved. And pretty simple premise really you go from platform to platform to get to the top to rescue your girlfriend Vectrex is known as being you know a vector graphics platform it's very unique and at the time that this was about there were a lot of arcade based vector uh, games and this is just obviously trying to catch on to that craze of the time it's grown to be quite popular, the Vectrex, in, in a lot of ways and, and has got a quite a big user base. Um, the way you play games on the Vectrex is cartridge based. Uh, once we'd gone from the original carts, you went to multi carts. From the multi cart, then there was this, uh, the Vec Fever, which was um, developed and is very hard to come by and expensive. But now we've got the Pytrex. This is not a newcomer to the field, but it is evolving into different things. You can buy this from this website. These guys will sell you in from Australia. It took about a week to get to me, and it's 54 Australian dollars plus the postage. It turned up in brilliant time. Everything went according to plan. It turned up. You can buy it in different forms. You can buy it in an arcade you know, board like this, just a basic board, or you can buy it ready boxed. You're going to need to grab yourself a Raspberry Pi Zero One or Two. It doesn't really matter which one. You're going to need to grab yourself a, a case. I just grabbed this case and 3D printed it myself. You then get a bare bones install to image onto an SD card, obviously like any normal Raspberry Pi setup. Uh, and then you've got to go and grab yourself some ROMs. This is just the, Ar the Star Wars arcade ROM. But I'm going to put uh, Spike up just so you can do a quick comparison. This is running off the um, Pytrex. Uh, you can't really tell much different. Games either run exactly the same or better. Um, a lot of improvements have been made, especially things like Berserk and stuff like that where they've increased the clock speed so that things run a lot better. There's a lot on this car. You know, you can run your obviously all of your standard Vectrex ROMs from it. You can run arcade ROMs. It's got a video player, some sound system, so you can actually play music on it. Not that the Vectrex is particularly known for uh, great audio. Um, I think you'll notice in this video that I'm playing at the minute, my Vectrex could probably do with the audio mod just to remove some of that horrible buzzing noise which they're renowned for plat for doing. But sometimes I think that's really what makes the, the system what it is. This is the front end of the Pytrex. And you'll see that there's all the ROMs I've loaded on there automatically recognised. There's, you know, there's Doom, Doom ROMs and all things that are up and coming and, and being in development. I think the reason I went for the Pytrex really was because I wanted to play Vectrex Star Wars. Now, it's something I, I played Vectrex Star Wars on the Vec Fever, uh, and it blew my mind. I was amazed that we could get an arcade ROM working on this device, and it really did spark and re reinvigorate me to, to actually play on this machine again. Um, got this up and running, and you know, Battlezone, you know, an absolute classic. I really, this plays really, really, really well on this system. Um, I'm really pleased with how it, how it does run. I've had hours of fun playing this. This isn't the, one of the, you know, Star Wars was the main reason for me for getting hold of a Pytrex and, and, and going through all the trouble of getting all the ROMs. It's, it's a bit difficult to get hold of some of the ROMs sometime, um, but Star Wars was the main event why I wanted to actually play it. I do own a one-up arcade uh, with Star Wars on it, so I'm just showing the, com the, the comparison there between the one-up system, because obviously, I I haven't got the room or, or the money to buy a, a proper full-size cab. This is as close as I'm going to get to you know, the original arcade experience with the with the arcade one-up. They've replicated it so well with the yoke and all the rest of it. It was just interesting to see that the Vectrex could actually do this. Uh, the Vectrex, the Vec Fever, does it in a slightly different way. Star Wars on the Pytrex is 
a work in progress. It, it is getting better. Um, I think the, the, the way that the, the guys are getting these arcade run, runs to work um, on the system, there's, there's certain things that have been took away, but you know, as you can see, it runs really fast. The speech is not too bad. The way that you know, the way that it actually performs, uh, you know, I can't fault it really. I think it's, it's a great um, version of the Star Wars arcade, and it, and it is faithful to the original really I mean it really works really well so this is the main reason why I wanted the Pytrex to perhaps you know to see how good it was to see if it was as good as the Vec Fever and to be fair it, you know it does stack up pretty well it's getting better and better it's a lot more approachable than the Vec Fever the Vec Fever goes for over you know for thousands because it's not being actively produced anymore the Vec Fever is a, a much more cost effective solution really for you know for 54 australian dollars you know you can't go wrong really you know, it's, it's an amazing device that's coming at the right at the right price uh, just doing a bit of tempest here again you know these games were made for vectrex you know in, in every step of the way you know they they have they the way the graphics work this doesn't really do it justice if you've never used a vectrex before the brightness and the you know the um the way that it plays and the brightness and, and, and all of the different effects, the way it glows is, is absolutely breathtaking in person. Now this doesn't do it justice at all. So I just wanted to show this really a quick shot of what is the Pytrex and what is on offer. I didn't really know much about it until I, I saw the Vec Fever and that's what led my interest into actually revisiting the Vectrex. But maybe in a future video, if this proves popular and when, when people want to see it, I might do a video of recapping and doing the audio mod to my Vectrex, but if you've made it this far, thanks for watching and I'll catch you again in the next video. Bye for now.